Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Buckle up, because it's about to get wild. We're talking about those digital Robin Hoods, or maybe more like Hoodwinks, who somehow unlock paid software for free. We're breaking down the jargon and exposing the tricks of the trade. Think of it like this. You spend months, maybe years, crafting a masterpiece in your workshop, only to have someone sneak in and steal it. That's what software piracy feels like for developers. From malware lurking in the shadows to the erosion of trust in a digital world, the consequences are far-reaching. So, grab your metaphorical magnifying glass and let's expose the dark secrets of software piracy, shall we? First things first, let's meet our suspects, the hackers themselves. Now, they might not be sporting black hoodies and typing furiously in the dark, or maybe they are, who knows? but they've got some serious digital tricks up their sleeves. Imagine trying to solve a complex puzzle. That's kind of what hackers do with reverse engineering. They take apart the software piece by piece, trying to figure out how it ticks. Once they understand the code inside and out, they can find those sneaky backdoors to bypass security measures. But wait, there's more. Hackers also love their digital skeleton keys, keygens and cracks. These little devils are like magic spells that unlock the software's full potential without paying a dime. They either generate legitimate looking license keys or tamper with the software itself to remove those pesky restrictions. And then we've got patching the art of digital surgery. Hackers get their hands dirty by modifying the software's code, disabling or completely removing any security checkpoints. It's like giving the software a digital lobotomy, making it completely oblivious to its own licensing rules. Hold on tight because this is where things get really interesting. As much as we like to think of hackers as tech wizards, they're masters of human psychology too. They know that sometimes, the weakest link in the digital chain is us, the users. Enter social engineering, the art of deception. Hackers are like digital con artists, using charm, trickery, and sometimes plain old intimidation to get what they want. They might pose as someone you trust, a colleague, a tech support agent, even your grandma to trick you into revealing sensitive information like passwords or granting access to your system. And then there are the insider threats. These are the double agents lurking within organizations, the employees who abuse their access for personal gain or malicious intent. They might steal sensitive data, sabotage systems, or even install backdoors for external hackers to exploit. It's like finding out your seemingly trustworthy office buddy is actually a corporate spy. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, the consequences. Software piracy isn't just a harmless victimless crime, it's a digital epidemic with far-reaching repercussions that affect everyone involved. First in line, the developers. Imagine pouring your heart and soul into creating something amazing, only to have it stolen and distributed for free. That's the harsh reality for many developers. Piracy robs them of their hard-earned revenue, stifling innovation, and discouraging them from creating new and exciting software. But here's the kicker. It's not just the developers who suffer. Users of pirated software are playing a dangerous game. Remember those digital backdoors we talked about? Well, they're not just for bypassing licensing checks. They also make your device a sitting duck for malware, data breaches, and identity theft. It's like walking down a dark alley with a sign that says, rob me, and let's not forget the legal ramifications. Using and distributing pirated software is illegal, folks. We're talking hefty fines, lawsuits, and even criminal charges in some cases. It's like that old saying goes, crime doesn't pay, especially in the digital world. Section 5, The Shapeshifting Threat, Piracy in the Age of AI. Hold on to your hats, folks, because the piracy landscape is evolving faster than a chameleon on a rainbow. We're talking about a new breed of cybercrime, fueled by the power of artificial intelligence. Remember those deep fakes that took the internet by storm? Well, AI is now being used to create even more sophisticated forms of piracy. We're talking about AI-generated content that's almost impossible to distinguish from the real deal. From movies and music to software and video games, nothing is safe from the clutches of AI-powered piracy. And if that wasn't enough, hackers are now hijacking legitimate infrastructure to carry out their dirty deeds. CDN leeching, as it's called, involves exploiting content delivery networks. 
those digital highways that deliver content at lightning speed, to distribute illegal copies of software and other digital goods. It's like hiding in plain sight, using the very tools designed to combat piracy to fuel it. Section 6. Risky Clicks Why downloading pirated content is like playing with fire. Let's be real. The temptation to snag that shiny new software for free can be strong, but before you click that download button on that shady website, consider this. Downloading pirated content is like playing Russian roulette with your digital life. Remember those malware-infested backdoors we talked about earlier? Well, they're just the tip of the iceberg. Pirated software is often riddled with nasty surprises. We're talking spyware that tracks your every move, ransomware that holds your data hostage, and Trojans that open up backdoors for even more malicious attacks. But it's not just about the technical risks. There's an ethical dimension to consider as well. Using pirated software is like stealing someone's hard work. It undermines the livelihoods of developers and discourages innovation. It's like enjoying a delicious meal at a restaurant and then running out without paying the bill. Not cool, right? Section 7. Pirates 2.0 the evolution of digital deception. Just when you thought you'd seen it all, the pirates up their game. These digital buccaneers are getting more sophisticated by the day, employing tactics that would make even the craftiest of criminals jealous. Take supply chain attacks, for example. These are like something out of a spy thriller. Hackers target the software supply chain itself, injecting malware into legitimate software before it even reaches your device. It's like poisoning the well at the source, making it incredibly difficult to detect and even harder to prevent. And then there are malicious browser extensions. These seemingly harmless add-ons promise to enhance your browsing experience but often have ulterior motives. They lurk in the shadows, stealing your login credentials, tracking your online activity, and even hijacking your browser to display unwanted ads. And let's not forget about good old-fashioned phishing. Hackers love to cast a wide net sending out millions of emails disguised as legitimate messages from banks, social media platforms, or even government agencies. One wrong click and bam, they've got access to your accounts, your data, and potentially your entire digital life. The takeaway here, the digital world is a constantly evolving battlefield, and the pirates are always coming up with new and creative ways to stay one step ahead. Section 8, Fighting Back arming ourselves against the piracy plague. Don't despair, it's not all doom and gloom. Just as the pirates are upping their game, so are the good guys. We're talking about a digital arsenal of tools and techniques designed to combat piracy and protect our digital assets. Piracy detection software acts like digital detectives, using algorithms to sniff out unauthorized use. Piracy prevention software stands guard, using encryption and licensing systems to keep intruders out. Real-time monitoring and AI enhance detection, identifying patterns and anomalies. Regular updates act like digital vaccines, patching vulnerabilities and staying ahead of piracy. Section 9. Securing the future building fortresses against digital theft. So, we've talked about the threats, we've explored the consequences, and we've looked at some of the tools at our disposal. But what about the future? How can we create a digital world where piracy is a thing of the past? One promising avenue is blockchain technology. Remember how blockchain revolutionized the world of cryptocurrency? Well, it has the potential to do the same for digital ownership. Imagine a world where every piece of software, every song, every movie is registered on a secure and transparent blockchain network, making it virtually impossible to pirate. But technology alone isn't enough. We need to foster a culture of respect for intellectual property. That means educating users about the ethical implications of piracy and encouraging them to support creators by purchasing legitimate software. And let's not forget about the power of direct engagement. When creators connect with their audiences, build communities, and offer exclusive content on their platforms, it discourages piracy and fosters a sense of loyalty among fans. The bottom line is this. Securing the future of digital content requires a multi-pronged approach. We need technology, education, and a collective shift in mindset. We need to move away from the information, wants to be free mentality, and embrace a culture where creators are fairly compensated for their work. The fight against piracy is far from over, but with the right tools, the right mindset, and a collective commitment to ethical digital citizenship, 
we can create a future where piracy is nothing more than a distant memory.